वेलकम फ्रेंड्स टू पावर प्लांट गुरु यूट्यूब चैनल फ्रेंड्स आई एम अ मैकेनिकल इंजीनियर विद अराउंड ट्वेंटी ईयर्स ऑफ एक्सपीरियंस इन द फील्ड ऑफ पावर प्लांट एंड आई यूज टू क्रिएट स्मॉल फंडामेंटल नॉलेज सीरीज वीडियोस फॉर पावर प्लांट इंजीनियर्स वी आल्सो रन डाउट क्लियरिंग सेशंस ऑन वीकेंड्स सो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू रीच एस यू कैन रीच एस थ्रू कमेंट सेक्शन एंड ज्वाइन आवर वीकेंड क्लासेस let us continue to watch our today's video so friends let us understand uh, this barring or ratcheting thing in gas turbine so ratchet applications happen in uh, frame 5 or frame 6 uh, g gas turbine and after that i think in larger uh, series it is barring only so uh, let us understand this uh, term ratcheting so uh, let us first understand why this is required so you can see here the entire uh, gas turbine uh, schematic diagram where you can see from this uh, agb accessory gear box to the exhaust or to the generator coupling this shaft is a single shaft a large shaft right and just imagine if i draw it like this a single line so if uh i shut down the machine and keep keep this shaft like this only so what will be the normal tendency because this shaft is very long and it will have a tendency to bow down or sag because of its weight or its center of gravity which will attract here so it will have a natural tendency to be sag down uh, although whenever it is cold also it will have this tendency but after shut down it is hot and this sagging tendency is high when it is hot we we know because all of uh, uh, because of the metal uh, property so to if there is a kind this kind of bow so you can imagine so uh, if you start the machine in this way so this will start behaving like this so rather than a uh, rotation in a straight line the rotation will be in this way this will be the top and this will be the bottom of this shaft and this kind of thing will cause high vibration or rubbing of uh shaft or uh, rubbing or bearing white metals so that is why this type of phenomena is not required to so what we can do to avoid this type of phenomena so what we can do we can rotate this shaft while it is hot for some angle so ratcheting is the process where you can see the a shaft is rotated by 45 degree in each cycle and the cycle repeats every 3 minutes so that is the key message here you rotate your shaft by 45 degree and stop and then again rotate your shaft by 45 degree and stop so this process gets repeated after a interval of 3 minute every 3 minute this cycle will be repeated so this kind of sagging is uh happening but uh the sagging let's say it's like this but you uh, when you turn the shaft by 45 degree this bottom portion may will come up and then your uh, this uh, bottom sagging will be neutralized by some angle 
uh, some uh, lower extent and this is how your sagging is uh, reduced uh, turn by 10 and then your machine uh, when it is totally cool you can check your wheel space temperature and then decide whether your machine is uh, kind of uh, stable to stop this cool down on so it is basically uh, gas turbine status is cool down on and cool down off on means ratchet off means stand still so this is basically uh, happening uh, to prevent this uh, sagging now how it is happening let us understand so there is a torque converter there is a agb torque converter and agb in between there is a ratchet mechanism so ratchet mechanism there is a jaw clutch you you can see this clutch right uh, these two uh, part of shafts so arrangement is like this that if these two engage like uh, let me draw it for the sake of it is something like this and the, and the top part is something like this so both if you bring this both closer they will get engaged and if it is the turbine side and if it is the torque converter side and if you rotate this by 45 degree this side will also be rotated so here is uh, the mechanism to rotate it there are different uh, devices like uh, 80 uh, 88 hr is your uh, DC motor which operates a hydraulic uh, pump which gives oil to rotate this and there are certain other mechanism like 33 CAC which is a uh, sorry which is a limit switch which tells the machine that okay you clutch is engaged if the clutch is engaged that means l33 csc is one and these are two pistons which you can see this blue one here and uh, on the other side as well so the they, they uh, kind of uh, pull this uh, towards engaging position and disengaging position so once you do cool down on this will go uh, uh, towards the turbine and then your clutch signal 33 CSE will be on so this is how this mechanism is there and uh, if uh, this 33 CSE is uh, uh, one that means it is engaged and then your 88 HR goes on for a few seconds which pumps the hydraulic oil which drives your shaft for 45 degree so this process is called ratcheting hope you have understood why it is done and how it is done